ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel more importantly though welcome back to another gameplay video here on the channel right now standing here in bubblegum simulator and i'm wearing my uh doctor uniform <laughs> actually it's not a uniform it's a suit but it's been a long night you know it's been a long day um i've definitely been flying around from game to game today because there are so many so many simulators out right now and we got to test them all we got to see which ones are the best and we got a lot of kick-ass updates that's just been like really really good so we've been bouncing between bubblegum simulator as you guys can see me right now in here um we were playing pancake simulator earlier today and the most grinding that we did was in Robot Simulator. So it's been pretty crazy. But now I'm back here because I needed to step my game up. I needed to get something. And I finally got it today now that our two times mega event is over. And it was just like the strangest thing. My luck always comes after the event is over. During the event, I don't really get as lucky. And it kind of sucks, you know. A um, couple shout outs today. Shout out to White Snake and White Snake's friend because he has subscribed and made me reach 960 subscribers. So we got 40 more to go until we reach that 1K goal. And I still don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm going to live stream and just, you know, probably chat with you guys do like a q a sort of situation and then if we think of something to do and if the live stream is successful then we'll continue on doing whatever it is that we are doing in the live stream so yeah shout outs to them shout out to ashley and rx for joining and grinding today in robot simulator it was just great having all of my friends there um and you know you guys can definitely join me anytime you want because i do have my joins still on um but if i'm in a vip server and you're not friends with that person obviously you won't be able to join me because it's a vip so right now i'm hanging out in cdtv dad's vip server he was here and then he left i'm assuming he went to piggy or maybe he went to bed you know it's 1 a.m here my time so yeah, I wouldn't expect him to be here all night. But let me go into my pet inventory so you guys can see the new member of the flower team. So if I scroll up real quickly, if this cursor will allow me to do so, that would be very much appreciated. There we go. It's a little slow, but it's working. It's a little slow, but it's working. <laughs> so we still got some pretty decent stuff. As I tell people all the time, you know, I try not to flex because there is no reason for me to flex. You know, um, I don't have any secrets or anything like that. But we have finally got in the Sacra Lord. And this is a very nice addition to the team. You got 7,000 on the flowers itself so comparing that to the paragon all of these are basic except for my mystic haunt which is at a max enchant and also at a max level compare that to the paragon paragon is at six thousand the vector lord which is a shiny this is only at four thousand flowers so we're a little in balance but it's decent it helps me the Mystic Haunt has 8,000 over here. And the Basic Haunt is giving me, I believe, 2,500 something. Um, if it will allow us to see, yeah, we're getting only like 2,500 on there. So this is a decent team. It's not, it's not perfect, but it does help me. And I'm super glad that I finally gotten this. But like I said, um, it kind of sucks that it took the event to actually end for me to hatch this today. I hatched this with no boost at all. So yeah, I was here for at least 
two hours, I want to say. Um, but hatching this without any um, boost, it was kind of crazy. But I think it was, you know, it was bound to happen because I was, you know, really, really desperate in trying to hatch this. A lot of people actually offered this up as a gift. And I thank all those people that wanted to give me this, but I just wanted to be able to, you know, hatch it myself because I like doing that stuff. You know, I do like accepting gifts from people, but at the same time, I want to show these people that I am capable of hatching something on my own, you know, because a lot of people just figure, oh, I'll get a shout out or something because I gave a YouTuber a pet or something like that, you know? And those people like to gloat and some people like to flex and everything like that. But yeah, I just wanted to prove that I could hatch that on my own. I still have a lot of work to do when it comes down to the um, the season pass right now. So if I click on this, you'll see my progress right now. So I'm like on only on 800 something and we need at least 1750 to finish the entire um, season pass and then I'll be able to get that last pet that's over there. I don't know exactly what it is, but whoever has it, you can let me know in the comment section. This is what it looks like down here is the premium if you have the premium. Um, I don't have premium, but I do have VIP and VIP it's a little helpful. I'm not going to lie about it. It was a little waste of Robux, but I do enjoy the reduced time on the portal chest that it gave me and that VP um, zone area. I wish it had a little more stuff in there. It's barely anything when I run in there. So it's just kind of a waste of Robux. So I wasted Robux pretty much twice in this game. I purchased that Inferno egg that you guys will see at the spawn area. It cost 229 Robux. I thought it was going to be something OP, and this was literally an Inferno dragon that you could be hatching at a basic egg. So, yeah. Wasted 229 on that, and then I bought VIP, which, you know, it wasn't very, very expensive. But, you know, still, nonetheless... I probably could have held out and bought the premium. Anyway, that's pretty much what I wanted to say um, in this video. I finally hatched it. I was super excited about it. Um, shout outs to Reaper. He was here grinding away. As you guys can see in, in the chat, he's been hatching a couple of these Vector Lords like crazy. <laughs> so... You can see right there, I even reacted to it because I was um, I was away from the computer, but I was in the same room, if that, you know, makes any sense to you guys. Um, but I seen this turn green, so I looked at it, I said, oh shit, I finally hatched it, and I'm just like super excited about it, and then I was going to type something to CDTV, and then I realized he wasn't even in the server anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah. So I finally got the Sacral Lord. I still haven't gotten the Soul Flower, um, but I guess that'll be the next thing that I should work on in the game. And then I'll be done with those spring pets before they're removed. So this will be like officially the first time that I'm able to um, finish out something before it's taken away. Because you guys know that probably this Friday, there will be another update so i don't know what the theme would be but i do know that that portal and everything like that it'll probably be gone they'll probably be trying to work on like i guess the next holiday maybe um i was thinking of memorial day or something like that but that already kind of you know is out the window I think the next thing will probably be is like summer, you know, um, if they wanted to push an idea, that's probably the next big thing they're going to work on. Maybe summer theme eggs and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, every time, <laughs> every time the events end, that's when I start getting luck. It does not make any sense. And I literally was like, yo, this is probably the best luckiest weekend because we had um, 
two times the luck. We had the two times the mystic chance, and then the hatch speed. I'm like, all right, I should be able to get exactly what I want when I want to get it because this this was just like a huge buff and boost for all of us, you know. So I managed to get a couple vector lords. You know, those were pretty decent. Um, I was actually hoping that I could have gotten a mythic at least, you know, but I didn't manage to get any of that during this event. Um, I didn't get any shiny versions of those either, but at least the possibilities now are different because now that I actually hatched it on my own, I can accept those gifts from people. So if you feel that my bubble team or my flower team is kind of trash, I'm I'm open to free stuff now, you know. Um, I'll still do Discord server giveaways for the people that really need the pets. But if you don't need them, you don't have to join the Discord server giveaway. Um, but speaking of giveaways, I did start another giveaway, but for a different game. That is for Speed Champions. Um, I'm pretty much retiring the game, so <laughs> I decided, you know what, I'll give away the um, new pets that I'm farming for right now, and I'll just give them to you guys, you know. I'll still keep whatever I have equipped, but all of that new stuff that's in there right now, I'm not sure if everybody has it, you know, because as I said, not a lot of people play it anymore. It was enjoyable in the beginning, but now he's on to a new project. And it's releasing this Wednesday, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. So that's going to be um, pretty interesting to see what this new game is. Um, but it does have something to do with bombs. Um, there will be YouTuber pet codes. So far, I've seen JoJo Craft, Snug Life, CTV Dad with a pet, and... Um, who else? Who else had a pet? It was, it was one more person that I seen the zero blocks um showcasing around. Um, I think it was Russo. Yeah, it was Russo. So you have Russo Talk, CDTV Dad, Snug Life, and Jojo Craft are pretty much four YouTubers who will have their very own pets and probably their very own codes in this new game. No, I was not um asked about you know if i wanted any interest in the game obviously small channel alert you don't get any perks so people could you know pretty much care less they make these posts and everything like that um you know youtubers if you have any interest in a new game and you want to you know get some perks so you got to do is play the game and make some videos about it so then you know they never really specify the post until afterwards when you join they'll ask you how many subs and how many views and how many followers etc cetera, etc cetera. and then once you get that you know that 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 stamp of rejection then it hits you you're like wow so i commented on this post for nothing got my hopes up for nothing this is another project that has gotten turned down um more recently as you guys noticed i lost my youtuber role inside a pancake simulator um when it comes down to dr seuss simulator they told me 1500 so that is the smallest right now robot simulator turned me down they told me i needed 6k subscribers and there is something that i'm working on with covert code and i don't know what his progress is on his new game but i'm supposed to be getting a code or something in his new game so I still have a little positivity to look forward towards. But right now, every attempt that I'm making to try to partner up and get some perks and everything like that and, you know, get you guys to play these games, all of the efforts are just being, you know, shut down. So it is what it is. But we got the Sacro Lord. We got 960 subscribers. Um... We're awesome. We're dressed as the doctor. Um, I've been midgetized, as you guys can see. Um, the doctor is not really this short. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all I can say right now. I'll catch you guys in the next video, as always, though. Peace out, and do enjoy the rest of your day.
or your morning or your evening.